You know how we feel here at Spark Creativity about book PR. Basically, it's the best. We're all about bookish posters, displays, podcasts, guest readers, first chapter Fridays, book trailer Tuesdays, and book tastings. If it helps get kids excited about books, we are all in. Recently, I saw a lovely post over in my Creative High School English Facebook group from a teacher who hosted a book face competition, and it reminded me of just how much I love this idea, this trend, book face. Book face isn't new, but there's a reason it keeps on resurfacing. It's amazing. So in this quick episode, let's dive into what book face is if you've never heard of it, and how you might use it as a vehicle for building reading enthusiasm. Of course, Bookface is a fun visual strategy, so I hope you're going to take a look at the show notes to see the examples I've created for you to share with your students. Ready to dive in? Welcome to the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers looking for more. More creativity, more engagement, more joy, and no more scripted curriculum, lesson planning ruts, or boring book lists. I'm Betsy Potash, and I'm honored you're trusting me to help. You're not alone on this creative journey anymore. Hey there, real quick before we get started. If you're listening to this live and you haven't joined us inside the lighthouse yet, I want you to know I'm nudging open the doors this week. If you'd like a smoother path to summer, let me help you plan your way to graduation. Over 800 creative teachers are already inside the lighthouse using hundreds of adaptable projects and units to stop planning from scratch and say no to perpetual overwhelm. I know that signing up for a membership can feel intimidating. I've hovered over plenty of join buttons myself, so this week you can test the waters through a special $1 trial. Yep, I'm pretty much offering you my life's work for $1, but honestly, That's how confident I am that once you're inside, you're going to be breathing a huge sigh of relief and setting up camp to stay. To learn more and take advantage of this short window of opportunity, just follow the link in the show notes or be sure to open my emails this week. So let's start by talking about what Bookface actually is. Whoever thought this one up had some serious bookish flair. To create a Bookface picture, you need a partner to model a book with a photo on the cover, and some serious creativity. The idea is to line up the book in the foreground of your photo so that the book appears to be part of the face of the model in your picture. Or you can think of it the other way around, that the model appears to be part of the book. Whichever way you want to look at it, you get the idea. There are a few elements to consider in matching your book to the the picture, the person, the sort of overall setup of your photo. The main thing is to line up the facial features. If the book cover shows, for example, half of a woman's face and she has short brown hair and she's wearing sunglasses and she has bright red lipstick, then the person in the picture ideally is going to be wearing their hair, sort of short brown hair in the same way, big similar sunglasses, bright red lipstick in the same way. If the person in the book is wearing an orange t-shirt, you want the person in the photo who's trying to blend in with the book to have a bright orange t-shirt. If the person in the book is against a teal colored background, then ideally in the photo you want your brown haired person with the big sunglasses and the red lipstick and the orange t-shirt to also be against a teal colored background. You are trying to match (laughs) the facial features, the accessories, the background, the overall color scheme of the book to your model, your person who's setting up the photo. And when you get it right, it is so cool and it is so fun. So how can you teach your students how to make these? Well, I created a super simple free guide for you. It walks them through these kind of easy steps and it gives them a bunch of visual examples. You can print the guide, which I'm going to link in the show notes, and then you can laminate it and put it in your classroom or your school library next to a display where you're going to post your book face images. Or you can send it out digitally if you want to make this part of like a school-wide challenge Or, of course, you can photocopy it for your students and pass it out. 
So what are the steps you're going to be telling your students? The first step is for them to find a person with a book on the cover. This may necessitate a trip to the school library or the public library, or you can go digging in your own classroom library. The second step is for them to get creative and strategize. How can they mimic the cover's look? And by the way, at this point, if they realize they can't, they may need to swap out their photos. So you really want to kind of lay these steps out for them, show them the guide before they ever pick a book cover. Because if they pick a book cover that, that they're going to really struggle to match, um, they're just going to have to go back and switch books. So once they have a book that they can kind of match, that's when they start to consider, you know, what clothes can they use? What background can they use? What sunglasses or necklaces or earrings or hair dye or whatever they want to do to try to match up the image of, of whichever partner is going to take the photo and, um, and the book cover. And then the final step is to set up the photo itself. You're going to have a photographer, you're going to have a model, and then you may even have one more person who kind of holds the book into the shot, or that can be the photographer who holds the book into the shot in the foreground and tries to line it up so that the features sort of exactly blend with the face of the person in the picture. And then, of course, they're just going to click that shutter button. Okay, so now that you and your students know what book face is and, and you know how to create one, how are you going to integrate this into your reading program? Well, there are a ton of options. You can probably already start to think how you would like to do it, but here are a few ideas. You could get together with your school librarian and see if they would like to coordinate a contest or challenge with you. Maybe um, you're going to roll out this challenge and you're going to have kids take their shots and you're going to post those entries in a display in the library with like a little ballot box and you're going to let the school vote on their favorite book face images. Or um, maybe you want to take a leaf out of those old read posters. Do you remember those read posters in the library when you were a kid that would have like celebrities holding a book and staring at you and it would say, read <laughs> across the top. Maybe you want to do something like that and have your whole faculty take book face photos. If you could get permission um, or get the coordination of whoever runs your faculty meetings, maybe they'd be willing to take 15 minutes to send out groups of faculty around the school to shoot book face images. You could be in charge of bringing a bunch of really fun, doable book cover books to the faculty meetings. And then this could just be like a fun bonding thing where faculty went out in groups of two or three um, to try to take these pictures. And then, of course, you could print them and post them around the library or around your classroom libraries or in a hallway somewhere. Another option would be to have your students sort of warm up to this in your classroom, but then reach out to the local public library and see if the public library or even set of public libraries would like to collaborate on a citywide book face challenge. If you want to keep it simple, you could make this an early finisher activity or an extra credit activity or... Last but not least, this could function really well for one of those weird in-between days. You know those weird days like a short day after testing or it's homecoming and there's an assembly and class is just going to be weird. You know it's going to be weird. Or the day before a big vacation when you have like something to do for 30 minutes that's really important, but the last 20 minutes you know no one's going to be able to focus. <laughs> you could try doing a little book face challenge. Okay, my friend, are you ready to try it? Are you excited? I really hope you're going to check out the show notes today because of all the visuals that really help to bring this to life and because I've created this fun free guide for you and your students that I hope you're going to snag. If you are on my email list, it will already be coming to you. No need to sign up again um, if you're listening to this live. But if you're not or you're listening to this much later, you can just jump into the show notes um, and grab it because I really want you to try this. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today to talk about this fun book face trend. I can't wait for you to try it. <music>